We aren't here to tear any companies down, but to simply tell the truth. Our lives and our hunts depend on our gear to perform. So with that, enjoy your no-holds-barred, non-scripted, no-bullshit gear review. All right, what's happening everyone? Zach Harold here with Archery Maniacs, and today we are going to review the BRS Ultralight Stove. Um, I actually found this through watching YouTube videos um, from Darwin on the Trail. Uh, this thing is insane. So, as you can see there, it's held up next to my hand. That's in its little carry case. Um, when you take it out of the carry case, it is literally shorter than my than my pointer finger. I mean, it is tiny, 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 tiny. Um, you know, stoves. Some stoves are just so so expensive. Uh, this stove goes for I think I got it for sixteen dollars on Amazon. So that right there is pretty hard to beat. Um, each one of these arms, uh, as you can see, there's three of them. Each one of the arms folds down and gives you a platform to set your pot on. Um, it is made out of titanium and there is a few little pieces of brass. Uh, like I say, it's super hard to beat for $16. Um, it's just insane. It weighs a whole whopping 25 grams. And like I say, I got it on Amazon. Um, 25 grams is 0.88 ounces, so 0.9 ounces. Um, it screws into the regular size canisters. Um, as you can see right here, just screws right in there. And uh, it lights really, really well. Uh, the boil time. So there you have it. Um, it adjusts really, really well. The boil time on this little stove was about four minutes, four minutes and 10 seconds um, for about two cups of water, uh, which is, I, when you're sitting around at camp waiting for dinner, you have four minutes, you know, like four minutes is absolutely nothing. Um, the, uh, like I say, titanium, super lightweight, 0.9 ounces, um, it lights really easy. The one thing I did notice though is I found myself having to kind of shield it from, from the light breezes. Uh, they were starting to, to push the flame out of the way so it wasn't heating as efficiently as it possibly could have. Um, but, you know, as far as tough goes, I mean, it's made out of titanium. It was actually, it fell out of my bag and it was sitting on the floor and my son was stepping on it. He didn't know it. You know, he was stepping all over it and everything like that and nothing's bent, everything still works as you can tell. Um, so a scale of one to 10 toughness, um, it's a 10, you know. Uh, there's very, very minimal things that can go wrong with this little stove. And that to me uh, just makes it really, really handy to have in your backpack, in the back country. Um, and it's just, it's so lightweight. And like I say, it's, it's literally shorter than my finger. So with both those together, I, literally 0.9 ounces, you can, you can put it in your backpack or in your pocket and, and not even know it's there, you know what I mean? Uh, so $16 on Amazon, do you get what you pay for? Absolutely 100%. I mean, you can go to Sportsman's Warehouse, you can buy those other stoves, um, and they're lightweight too, you know, nothing against them. I haven't owned them. Um, some of them look like great stoves, you know, but for $16, how can you really go wrong with this little tiny titanium stove? Uh, once again, the manufacturer is BRS. Uh, would I recommend it to a friend? Absolutely 100%. I would recommend it to a friend. 
Um, again, I ordered it off of Amazon. I typed in a search, BRS ultralight stove, and oops, <laughs> just dropped it on the ground. And this is what you come up with, is this little guy. And I was pleasantly surprised and pleased with it. We took it in the backwoods in Colorado, stuck it on there, um, put a little pot on there, and we were able to cook our food no problem. So I, I moved from a jet boil where the jet boil had a lot better, uh, it, it protected itself from the wind a lot better and everything like that. Um, but it weighs so much more than this little tiny stove. Now you obviously have to have pots and pans of some sort now where the jet boil has its own pot with it, I guess you could say. Um, so you obviously have to have that now, uh, but I tested it. For me, it was 100% worth it. I'm still a lot lighter than I was uh, between this and my pots and pans as opposed to the burner on the jet boil and its pot and pan and lids. So there you have it, the BRS Ultralight Stove. Thanks for tuning in. I just want to say thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. Somewhere around here, there should be a subscribe button. So if you want to stay updated on our gear reviews, as well as our online hunting series, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate any comments, likes, as well as shares. By the way, head on over to www.archerymaniacs.com and check out our weekly podcast. Because every week we have three brand new podcasts come out that are specifically geared towards helping you be better at anything archery. Thanks again for your time, and remember, live life at full draw.